The Husky football experience promises lots of great moments every game, and they are all underscored, literally, with the infectious music of the marching band. 240 members put on the biggest, brassiest show on earth, and this is one of the few marching bands in college today that moves in a traditional high-step choreography. Husky Stadium is considered one of the most picturesque stadiums in the country, and, and without a doubt, I mean, for us to be out there as a band practicing, and then, you know, oops, there goes a bald eagle, or uh, uh, any number of things, it just, it's a really special place, and, and it's a great stadium for marching bands. The overhangs holds the sound in, and that's why it's, uh, most of the fans in the, in the uh, stadium can hear us whenever we're playing, or even if it's just a small group, it's a, it's a great place to play. It's a rather long day. We report four hours before kickoff. From there, the, the band then uh, uh, goes into the zone and forms the tunnel for the team and the team walk. And 20 minutes before kickoff is when the band takes the field for our, our pregame show. And that, of course, culminates with uh, the, us simulating the raising of the flag and, and uh, playing of the, the national anthem. And then we wait for the, the team to come out and, and we're standing there in front of the student section getting them fired up uh, prior to the game. Even though we're a traditional style band, we, we like to let our hair, hair down. And the Husky marching band came out in costume. This wacky, wonderful bunch puts in as much practice time as the football team. The fans love the script Huskies. I mean, they wish we could do that every game. We just can't because it's long. It's four and a half minutes. It takes a long time to spell out Huskies like you're writing it in a script. And it's a great tradition. Anytime we do Louie and Tequila, uh, of course that usually has something to do with, with touchdowns being scored, but you know, we, we can never play that too much for the fans. We always try to stay up with what the student body is going to enjoy, as well as the, the diehard longtime time There are some things that we play that uh, are called up because of what just happened on the field. When it comes time to, to play, or i got to get their attention real quick, we'll just you know, throw up the pinky for tequila or this for Louie Louie or uh, uh, I don't know why. Everybody's everything. It's always just been five fingers. Uh, George of the Jungle is, you know, this. So it's, uh, we've got for practically everything that we play, uh, all the teams that we play a lot of. Um, there was even, we had a, had a uh, a tune called Hooked on Classics, and that was <laughs> so. Yeah, if, if we're going to play it a lot over the course of the season, it, it, it's almost a game as to who can come up with the best hand signal for the tune. The helmet card, yeah, it's, it's such an icon in Husky football games, and, and the tradition is that it, it always goes around the track after every touchdown, and it's always loaded up with, with cheerleaders and, and, uh, uh, and drum majors and such. And it's, it's built on a 72. VW Bug chassis. Yeah, there's been a few games, there's been a few parades where we've had to hop out and push it. When it's time to get it down there to the parade route, uh, Seattle Police will send a, a motorcycle escort. And they'll usually send uh, about four. Uh, this one particular year, they, for some, whatever the reason, they sent eight. So it was so funny because they were stopping cars at the intersections and People were thinking the President of the United States was in town or something. And all of a sudden, here, here comes the helmet car. We're just putting down the street. And they're wondering, this thing got a motorcycle escort of eight? <laughs> Whether it's commanding you to bow down to Washington or dishing out a shot of tequila, some people just know how to have fun. Every game, it's the same. One great Husky band. 72,000 groups.